So let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. We thank you because your word is powerful. We thank you because your word is mine. We thank you because your word is beautiful. We thank you because of your grace this morning. We thou glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Marata kisa karabalendo siyabalaba. Bika kata parabalashi ange takatunzia. Lord everlasting God, we pray this morning that you give us the grace, you give us the power to do your way in the name of Jesus. You open, you open our heart to understand the mystery of the world, to open our brain to understand the mystery of the world, to open our spirit to deceive the world. Everlasting Father, be thou glorified and exalted in Jesus' name. My Father, I pray that as we are starting the world, let the Spirit of God, the grace of God, the understanding of God, the inspiration from heaven come right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I once again, you, my name is supposed to Peter Daniel from Nigeria. And uh, you are watching me on Heaven and Air Live program, which we used to do every day by 9 a.m. to 10 or 11 a.m. Yeah. And uh, we used to do uh, a deliverance hour too, which we used to occur, uh, that one we used to occur around uh, 9 p.m. in every, I mean, Nigeria time, 9 p.m. Nigeria time to 10 or 11 p.m. Nigeria time. So I will advise you, if you know that you, your life needs deliverance, you need deliverance probably in your spiritual life, in your way of life, in many things like that, you need God to intervene in your life. You need God to visit your life. Then join the program. Make sure you are in the program. Join the program then and make sure you are always punctual. I pray the Lord God will bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, by the special grace of God, as you are watching us, I will advise you to subscribe to the channel on our YouTube uh, channel. Subscribe so that whatever we put, you, you might be able to see them. So just kindly subscribe, subscribe to the button. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, by the special grace of God, we are going to talk about the powers of eyes. This topic looks so simple, but it's so powerful. The power of eyes. Your two eyes. It means so simple. In the ear, it means so simple, but it is powerful. Because there is a real revelation in it. And a powerful revelation indeed. So as I am talking, as I am talking, the power of eyes, the power of eyes. If you open your Bible to the book of uh, Matthew, uh, Luke, the Luke. Open your Bible to Luke 11, Luke chapter 11, verses 4, I uh, start 34 to 36. I will read here. Open your Bible to Luke chapter 11, chapter 34 to 36. Uh, chapter 11, verses uh, 34 to uh, 36. The light of the body is the heart. Therefore, when thy eye is, uh, is single, your whole body also is full of light. 
But when your eye is evil, your whole body, your body also is full of darkness. Take ease, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkened. Darkness. That is it. If your whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, and when the bright shining of a candle do give the light. As when the bright shining of a candle do give the light. Uh, you might be thinking of some things as well. Yet, this, does this make a meaning to you? I will tell you that there's a secret and a revelation into it. I want to tell you my revelation about the implication of what you watch with your eyes. This teaching is not just about teaching alone. It's not just a revelation. What I receive from God. You see this your eyes you have. If you are to protect many things, don't protect your hand. Don't protect your leg. Don't protect your mouth alone. Mouth, protecting mouth is also important. But don't protect anything. Protect your eyes first. If you are able to protect your eyes, I'm telling you, you will make heaven. If you are able to protect your eyes, you will make heaven. There are some people that, if God has made them a blind person, a blind man, or a blind woman, they will have get to heaven. But because they can see with their eyes, that is what is taking them to hellfire. That is what is pushing them to hell. That is what is making them to be, you know, unable to manifest the grace in the spirit of God. Now, the eyes you see, if you look at it very well, if this eyes is dark, the whole body is dark. If you close your eyes, you will see that you cannot see anything again. Everything will become so dark. So Satan himself too has made a powerful, uh, a powerful preparation for every eye. Cultivations of every eye. If you look at a pastor, a pastor, most of the pastors that you see that fall into sin of fornication or adultery, most of them did not just fall, but it's because the, 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 the eyes is there. If their eyes is blind, a woman cannot just come and start rubbing them. Who is that? You know, somebody who is black, who is dark, who is dark in complexion, and a woman just come and start rubbing your body, you can easily this highway. Leave me. In Jesus' name, leave me. You know, it's because he's blind. He don't see what is going on. But uh, somebody who can see and a woman open her breast, open her private part, and he asking you for sex. By the time you want your heart wanted to reject it. But because your eyes are seen, it will talk to your brain. It will talk to your heart. And that will destroy the life of that person. The eyes, the implication of eyes. I remember years back when God took me to second heaven. One of the things I saw in the second heaven is what I want to share with you. Those people who have listened to my testimony of my encounter with the devil in second heaven, we understand deeply what I am saying. When I go to second F on that time and the angel of God take me there, one of the things I saw there, I told you that time that I saw the spirit of uh, Illuminati. Illuminati. This spirit of Illuminati is the one that is in charge. It's also in charge of worldly film and worldly, worldly, uh, worldly music, games, and so on like that. So this Illuminati spirit is the one that is in charge of all the things. When I get there and I see the demon, 
the Lord began to explain it to me. How terrible this demon are. That this demon has gained the global world, has gained the global soul. It's one of the leading demons in second earth. It's one of the leading demons that is able to overcome many people in second heaven. So when I when I, I was there, so I was told that this demon target eyes, target ears, target eyes. The art, you see, eyes and art, they are all together. They are like brothers. Whatsoever your eyes see, it will go to your soul, to your heart. It will go to your brain. Whatsoever your eyes see, it will go to your brain. And that your brain is the heartbeat of that, that your heart. So, he told me that art, to corrupt a art is the most simple thing. Let the eyes see the corruption and the, and the art will be corrupt. For example, you are washing your phone, maybe you are pressing your phone, and somebody just suddenly sends you blue thing. A dirty, a pornography thing. By the time you click, you do know. By the time you click it and you see how girls, and as a man or as, as, a, as a sister, you see how girls and boys are having sex. If you did not fast to take off your eyes and delete it, I'm telling you, before you know anything, you will continue to wash it. If you say, let me look for one, let me watch for one minute, I'm telling you, that one minute will, will captivate your eyes. That is why, because your eyes have seen it. And even though your eyes have seen it and you were able to, to remove or to able to uh, 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 overcome it in that time, your heart, your brain, your heart will still be thinking about it. It will be coming to your thinking. It will be coming to your thinking. It's because your eyes have seen it. So when it comes to your thinking, it will arrest you. Please, I'm begging you in the name of God. Listen to this message very well. It's what is going to say, it's going to set you free, I believe. By the time you start thinking about it, and that thing came into your brain, you think about it, it will come to your it will arrest your soul, it will captivate your soul, it will put your soul in bondage. And before you know anything, you will just see yourself that uh, you are already committing sin. That is why you see many people who are masturbating are always committed masturbation, are fornication, are, are adultery, and so on like that. They, are, they used to do that because they refuse to monitor the eyes. They refuse to, 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 to take caution of the eyes. And because you have received to take caution of the eyes, there is no way you are going to overcome devil. If you are able to overcome Satan through your eyes, I'm telling you the truth. Satan is off. That is why the Bible said, Jesus said, if your eyes will make it, it will be a, a it will be something that is going to make you to go to hell. He said, remove this first. Remove one. It said it is better for you to go to heaven with one eye. Than to go to air with two eyes. Jesus was, he was just talking about proof up there. He said, remove it. So, what am I trying to say is this there's a powerful atmosphere that's done with the eyes because these eyes will determine your holiness. These eyes will determine your heaven. These eyes will determine how you fellowship with God. These eyes will determine many things. And if this eyes is corrupt, it is corrupt. If it's corrupted, your body will be corrupted. If your eyes see what it's supposed to see, your whole body will be corrupted. And that can lead you to serious, I mean, to hell. Hallelujah. Now, when I get to second heaven, the demon I said I saw, ah, uh, was uh, a demon of Illuminati. This demon was in charge of worldly film, games, and uh, worldly songs. If you, you, if you are here and you used to watch worldly film, or you used to play games, 
or you used to uh, listen to songs, one of these songs, you are going to hell. There's no way you can do it because you are under the bondage of Illuminati. You are born. That is why you see that many musicians are into Illuminati. Are into, because it is, if you want to become a star in the world and you want to join a club, you cannot join any other club than join the club of Illuminati. Because they are in charge of the music industry. They are in the charge of the, uh, of the film industry. They are the power controlling it. So when they wanted to do something, they just go to it and they collect power from uh, the demon of char in charge of Illuminati and the, the film will just start, the money will start coming. That is why you see many of the, of the musicians, all the stars are musicians you used to see, you used to see them with big money, they, they are rich, they are big. It's not, it's not by the music only that makes them to rich, but by, the, by them entering the covenant and selling their soul to the, to the spirit of Illuminati. From there, the spirit of Illuminati, we grant them access to faith. We grant them access to money. We grant them access to success. We grant them access that whenever they sing song, it will touch your heart. It will look as if you wanted to sing it. It will be pushing you to sing it. It will be pushing you to dance to it. It's because that song has been offered to the darkness. That song has been offered to the darkness before you even hear it. Before you listen to it at all, it has been offered to the darkness. Whenever you are watching film and you see them shooting and you see them killing themselves, it's not because of the shooting that is attracting you. You might think it is because of the shooting. You might think it is because of the uh, of, of the of this thing that is attracting you. But the truth is that what is attracting you is because they have already for, already sacrificed it to the to the goddess of that industry or to the god of that industry. They have that sacrificed that song here. It has went through marine war. It has went through the Illuminati war. It has went through many wars. Powers have joined into it. It has become a powerful influence. Influence has entered. By the time that we start watching it, when somebody is playing and you are passing by, you will just start to pull you back to take on my watch this. Because there are demons that is attached to it. If you watch it, if you watch it very well, if you note something very well, you will see that if you are if you are a type of person, because when I was in, in the world, even uh, when I was in the world, I used to, I love for only the fighting theme, fighting theme. I love it so much. Now, and uh, if you look at uh, this Chinese film, all this uh, character, all this uh, Chinese film, if you look very well, you will see that they used to show one idol like this. They say idol they used to show. It's, it's either in the in the beginning of that film. Or in the ending of that film, or in the middle of that film, there is the idol that they used to they used to shoot. That idol will cross the leg like this. If you notice very well, all these that some films, all the uh uh karat film, all these things like that. If you see there's the idol that used to shoot, that these karat people used to go and bow down for. They used to practice that uh, film, the karat. Whenever, whenever they, before they go into something, they will go there and practice their fight there. If you look at it, there is a demon, there is a, a idol they used to put there. They will go there, they will, they will lean down before the idol, because I used to watch it very well before. So they will lean down before the idol and they will start chanting some, uh, you know, they will start, uh, they will be there, they will be silent, they will be in its presence. That, that is a demon of that thing. So by the time you start watching it, you will have an interest because that demon already is in that thing. And if there is not taking, that demon will also enter you. That is why you always see that you always fight battle every time. You always fight battle every time. So that if you look at this uh, Indian film too, you will see that in the Indian film, there's no Indian film. Except that it's a Christian, a Christian Indian film. There is no Indian film you will see that they will not push you. When you are, when they are starting the music like film like this, you will see idol first. They will first show idol that has this, that has a this thing, beat on its neck. The Indian film. If you used to notice that, so they will show, they will put eye, they will put this shape there. Or in the middle, you will see that the actor, whenever I want to go for a battle, he will go to the to to the to the uh, to the idol and go there and go and uh, do some ritual there before you go to battle. In Indian films. Or you see that maybe they have killed the actor 
and the, the idol just rise and enter the act and begin to fight very well. I'm thinking about India face. Or whether, or maybe in the beginning, not like that, in the end, uh, at me do, not, not like that, but in the end, they might show that idol. It is always common to all these things. These are the idols that sacrifice their feet to. And you are washing it with your eyes. And the Bible says, if your eyes is darkened, your whole body what is darkened. If what you see with your eyes is darkened, your life will be darkened. It means you are automatically going to hell. This demon was inside of all these things in those things. And the Lord spoke to me. He spoke to me so clearly. He said, as you warn his children, that any of his children that wash anything holy, they cannot make heaven. That they are going to hell. There are some music you should listen to. There are some music that you should completely avoid. You, can, you are only permitted to listen to a Christian song. Not worldly songs. A Christian, and that Christian that that must that Christian itself must you are must make sure that that Christian is giving spiritual effect into your life. It's increasing in the spirit, not an any house song. There are many implications that attach with your eyes. You watching things that is contaminated that is contaminated with a, a, a corrupt thing, corrupt events. Eyes, eyes. This eyes is so so dangerous, so dangerous than you ever think in your life. This is why you see some Christian brother when they are passing through, they are passing, they will just see a sister. He, he might be, he might be, maybe he has been praying for long, you know, he's charging in the street, but the sister has a bottom and they pass by, and they look at the bottom, and the heart will begin to corrupt. The heart will begin to be afraid. Thinking of, I want to have sex with her. Eyes is the issue of the old mother. Eyes. This eyes. So it, the Lord is telling us here that we have to, to caution that eyes. We have, if you want to make effort, you have to train your eyes. Train it to be holy. Train it to be righteous. Train it to be perfect. Or else you go to hell. Be careful of what you use your eyes to see. Because it can defile you and completely defile you. And completely defile you. That eyes is so powerful that it can destroy your, your 500 days fasting and prayer. So that is why whenever sisters, you know there are sisters living here, you don't just enter the place anyhow. Maybe you want to go and tell them something, you knock the door. If you mistakenly enter and you see her nakedness, and you say something, and you went out. That thing you see at, at that five seconds. Wow, you say, or one, one second. Wow, and you remove your eyes. That nakedness will register in your brain. It will register in your heart. And by the time you go in, you just See that you are feeling lost for that sister. You will just see that you are feeling lost for that sister. You are feeling safe. Eyes is so dangerous. That's why you have to be very careful of what you see. Then you must be an eyes master. If you know that whenever you see a sister, there's no way that you will, be, you will not fall into sin of a uh, uh, loss inside your heart. Then, Whenever you see that sister is coming, you put your hands down. Sister, look at me. Uh, brother, look at me. Say, Thank you, sister. <laughs> Thank you. I'm listening to you, man. <laughs> uh, you do it like this. Yes. <laughs> I'm listening. Yeah. Because you know that by the time you, you look at that eyes, you can fall. Then you have to master your eyes. You have to master your eyes. And make sure your eyes is not corrupt if you want to make careful. The Lord said something to me. He said, do you know the secret of washing what you feel? I said, sir, unless you tell me the secret. Mm. And I said, many of my children did not know that washing what you feel can destroy their life completely. Completely. It can destroy their homes. 
it can destroy their financial stability, it can destroy their, their, their mentality, it can destroy many things. I said, how is that? He now said, whenever everyone is watching, anyone is watching what they do, there is a demon in that field that used to come. There is a demon that used to come. When that demon comes, when that demon comes, it will enter the person's body and it will, it will arrest the heart of that person. It will arrest the heart of that person. So I'm telling you the implication of you watching what you think. It is so dangerous that ever, in fact, that anything ever in history. What if you is something that you have to completely avoid, run away from it completely, I mean run away from it completely, I mean very completely. Because if you do run away from it completely, it will bring you more closer and cultivate your heart and make and lead you to hell, straight to hellfire. I mean straight to hellfire. But if you are able to control that eyes, if you are able to control that eyes, I'm telling you, you will overcome the whole world. I'm telling you. But if that eyes is still giving you a problem, if that eyes is still giving you a problem, then it means that you are you might not be able to get to heaven. So you must get to a stage and the area whereby you will not be able to be uh, manipulated by anything you see. You must get to the area whereby you will not be able to be manipulated by whatsoever you see with your eyes. It is when that level comes that you can say to Satan that Satan, you cannot tempt me. Satan, you are too small for me. But if, that, if you are not in that level, I'm so sorry, that alone can take you to hell. That alone can take you to what? To air fire. That a look. That a look can take you to hell. That a look. I'm telling you the truth. That a look can take you to hell. So because of that, you have to be very, very careful. Very, very, very careful of what you say. Look. Look at it, this picture I'm showing you now. Look at this picture. If you look at this picture, you will see that there is a, there is a demon that came out from a TV. Do you see it? You will see that there is a demon that came out from a, a TV and entered into the brain of that person. This is a type of demon the Lord was talking about. The time you are watching, this man did not know that it was that a demon has entered, has, has, has entered his brain. You see how he entered into his head. He take away his head in his hand and he put hand there. If you look at it anywhere, he enter it. You see. So that is the same way. If whenever you are watching worldly things, whenever you are watching the things of the world. That is the same way this demon you should do. He will come into you and he will arrest you. You see, it will enter, it will put hand inside your heart. I'm telling you the reality for of life. It will put it will enter your it will arrest your soul. It will bring out your soul. It will take away your soul and it will cultivate it. It will but it will boot it it, it it will capture it and put your soul into bondage and take that soul to hell. And you might be on earth be living your life, but already your soul is tied in hell. Not only that, the Lord spoke to me, he said that. Do you know that when married couples are watching a film of divorce, one married couple are watching a film, 
talking about divorce, divorce. Maybe that when you are watching, you just see your husband and wife divorce. Or you were watching a movie that a sister and a brother have sex in that dream, in that uh, uh, in that scene. The person watching it, that that demon will enter in and automatically it will begin to have it will begin to have the feelings of having sex with women. And the Lord told me that this is where many of his children are missing. Many of the people who have sat in holiness before, they fall into sin. Because they wash what they're just supposed to wash with their eyes, and that spirit came into them, and they just say that they, they say that they begin to see the loss inside them. They begin to see, see the loss inside them. Because of what they wash. And the Lord told me that. If anybody wants to overcome the spirit of masturbation, then he has to carefully, careful of what he sees. Because what you see will go into your brain and go into your mind. And can destroy your destiny if care is not taken. Many homes, the Lord told me that many homes have been broken because of this. Many homes. Many homes have been broken. Many wives and husbands have divorced because of what they see. You see, those people who want to become rich, these people who are become, going for the ritual to become rich, is out of what they see. I want you to open your Bible to First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. First John chapter two, verses fifteen to seventeen. Hear what the Bible says: Love not the world. You see, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love not the world. Love not the car. Love, love not the house. Love not your husband than God. Don't love your husband than God. Love not your job. Love not your children than God. Love not the, the, that girl, that boy. Love not that things of the world. He said, if anybody love anything in the world, he said, the love of the father is no more in him. This thing for all that is in the world, the loss of flesh and the loss of eyes. You see that all that is in the world, all the problem of the world, all the issue that is making people to come against God, they are things the Bible characterizes them now. He said, Number one, that's the thing for all that is in the world. The loss of the flesh, one, and the loss of eyes, two, and the pride of life is not of the father, but of the world, or but of the world. You see that? Verse 17. And the world passes. You see what? And the world passes. And the loss thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abide forever. You see that? He said the world passes and the, and the lost there all. It means that if you have lost of eyes, whenever you see a car, you start feeling that, hey, I want to have this car. Hey, I have a car. I want to get it by homies. You see a sister, you say, oh, oh God, I want to have it with this sister by homies. You see your brother, you say, oh God, brother, you say, ask for more, to ask for more. I want to have him by homies. And you are a Christian. The Lord is telling me that I should tell you that you are going to pass out with the world. It means you cannot make them. Because they are things of the world. They are, it's, you have to caution your eyes, your eyes. These eyes have caused many broken of home. These eyes have caused many, many people to fall into sin. Listen to me very well. Let me tell you. 99%. I did not say 98. 
99% of the fornication or the adultery in the whole world, including the Christian and the unbeliever, it is, it is the art of eyes. Eyes. When you see a fan girl and you are not able to remove your eyes, when you see a girl shaking her bottom and you are not able to remove your eyes, you are still looking at it. Ah, this girl has bottom way. Eh? Ah, before you know anything, you start thinking, ah, let me have uh, a bed. Let me go and talk to this sister again. In fact, I will ask forgiveness. A sister came to your house and you opened your door for her. You and I know. And you know that you cannot manage your, your, your loss when it came to something of sex or something. And you opened it. And the girl, where minutes kept. Before you knew anything, you went, ah, sister, how are you? How are you? I eat everything. You start looking at the under the minutes. Kept. <laughs> sister, where is you, man? You start looking at the, the under of the skirt. Because, uh, you see, this, this is the issue of life. Hi. <laughs> sister, how are you? Bless you, sister. Eh? Ah, how are you doing, man? I want to take my bed. You start looking at under the sister's under. This will cultivate your heart and make you far from God and take you to hell. I said, sister, eh? The sister, she start to wear something that will not cover her, her shirt very well. So you are able to see the, the, you know, the, see the something inside. And the brother starts looking. Say, eh? ah, sister, bless you. Bless you. We start trying to look at the, the breast. You forget that whatsoever you use your eyes to see, God is seeing it. Let me tell you something. That is reason. Many pastors and many Christians are, 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 are open to attack. Don't you know that whatsoever you see with your eyes, the Holy Spirit inside you, you are making the Holy Spirit to see it too. If you watch Paul, the Holy Spirit inside you, you are, you are also watching, you are making the Holy Spirit inside you to watch Paul. So because of this, the Holy Spirit will run away from your life. Because you don't want to be contaminated like, like you. When you are watching the thing that is not godly, the angel that is following you, the angel that God has commanded to be following you, we run away because whatever you see with your eyes, that angel will see. Whatever your eyes see, your, that angel will see. And that can take you to eternal hell. If you are able to cut off your eyes, heaven is sure for you. Your eyes is your life. If your eyes see corrupted things, your body will be defiled. The only thing will run away from your life, and that will be the end of the whole matter. I pray you make heaven at last in Jesus' name. For wine is what I will say for the wine. I'm going to end the program right now. Once again, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel, and the message I'm giving is eyes, the power of eyes. I'm begging you, in the name of God. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you overcome that heart. Make sure you preserve that heart. You make that heart to you. You are careful of what you see. If truly you want to make them. Make sure that eyes do not put you into sin. I'm begging you. Make sure the money you are seeing do not attract you to sin. Make sure that sister in your house do not put you and lure you into sexual intercourse with her. Make sure that brother in your house did not attract you that you start stealing somehow in the dream. Make sure you do keep yourself somewhere in the night and lock yourself there and start thinking of that sister and you start committing masturbation. Make sure your eyes is pure and holy. If your eyes is not pure and holy, your body will be defied according to what is in Matthew chapter 6 and what is in Luke chapter 11. Verses 34 to 36. I bless you in the name of God. Prepare for heaven. Heaven is real and hell fire is real. Whatsoever you do on earth will determine whether you go to heaven. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, well, I want to pray for you now. This is Heaven and Air Life program, which we used to do by 9 a.m. to 10 or 11 a.m. As God leads us. 
And also, we used to have a program on Zoom. We do that one, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Please and please and please and please. Make sure you join us on this Zoom. It is a powerful place whereby you can be set free from any kind of captivity or bondage you are into. Then number two, go to our YouTube channel, Apple, press Apple, if Daniel YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe. That is where you can see many videos and posting every day. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for you, Father, in Jesus' name. Your daughter and your son that is watching me right now, I pray that you give them the ability and the grace to overcome the power of hell, to overcome the power of ice, to overcome the plan of darkness, to overcome the strategy Satan is using against them. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Ah, uh, bye bye.